Hello, and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. I'm Brian Lamb, the founder. I'm really happy to have you here. Whether you signed up for the mini course or bought one of the courses on the courses page, the first thing I need you to do is look for an email that has this confirm subscription button. You won't be able to sign in until you click on that confirm subscription, so go ahead and do that now. Then, simply navigate to the login page, supply the email address you used when you signed up, and then copy and paste the temporary password you got from the new user email my site automatically sent you. Click on Submit to Sign In, and you should land on the course library, which gives you access to the products you chose. When you click on the thumbnail or the View Product button, you'll be on that training course's landing page where you can see a brief introduction and all the sections and lectures of the course. Notice that each lecture has the duration, and when you click on the lecture, you can change the quality and speed on the video player settings at the bottom right. Of course, you can use this button to show the video in full screen if you wish. You can play and pause the videos, so just and oftentimes there will be text in this area under the video, so be sure to watch for that. When you're done watching the video, click the Mark as Complete button, and then you can go to the next video by clicking Next, or you can jump back to the course syllabus by clicking here at the top left. Notice you get a green check mark on the thumbnail of any video that you've marked complete. So that's a good way to keep track of your progress in any course. You'll also have a course progress bar up here at the top, and it shows you how many videos you've watched and how many are remaining. You can search for specific topics up here in the search bar. So for example, if I type in history and hit return, notice it pulls up the one lecture that contains the word history. Use the back button to return to the course. Please be sure to click on your avatar at the top right and select settings to add your time zone and type in more information about yourself so I can get to know you better. And if you feel comfortable, click on change avatar to add a photo. If you need to get in touch with me, there's a contact link right there at the top right as well, and I'll be happy to help you succeed with Robot Framework. So enjoy the course. And be sure to check out the courses page because I'll be adding new courses in the future. Thanks again for joining Robot Framework Tutorial. I'll see you soon.